Iris shaders. This is an alternative to Optifine shaders that can sometimes have better performance and still allow you to use the Optifine shaders you know, know and love, such as Continuum, Silder's Vibrant shaders, Chocopic, Sonic Ethers, BSL, Makeup Ultra Fast shaders, and pretty much any other Minecraft shaders that you want to use. With Optifine, you can use it with Iris shaders as well. On top of that, like I said, it can sometimes give better performance than Optifine shaders can. So let's go ahead and get this installed. Not to mention Optifine is not even out yet and this has been out for like a week. I'm a little behind here and I apologize for that. But no, let's, let's go ahead and get Iris shaders. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. And when you go there, it's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for getting Iris shaders. It's the text version of our guide. But first we have a little message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just them so much that we also our own server, played our break on craft.com on them and at apex you have 24 hours seven day a week support with amazing hardware and an easy server setup again you can check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex nevertheless to get iris shaders go to the second link down below that will take you here and once you are here scroll down and click on the yellow download iris shaders button you'll then instantly be taken to iris shaders official website where you can click on the download universal jar when you do that it's immediately going to download iris shaders in the bottom left you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser but it's a 100% safe to do that. Just keep it in the bottom of Google Chrome or save it in the middle of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we also need to download a shaders pack and in the description down below we have a link to this and this is 10 shaders packs for Minecraft. All of these should work but if you run into any issues with any of them just try another. For this specific video today we're going to be using Silder's Vibrant Shaders and we're going to be using Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders, this one being my favorite personal shaders pack. Now, once you click download on these, you can see Makeup takes you directly to the download page. Come over to the right-hand side and scroll down. The 1.18 version will work in 1.19, so don't worry about that. Cylinder Shaders here, this takes you to a dedicated tutorial where you want to click on the download shaders button. That takes you to their official website where you can choose the one that you want. I'm going to go with the light version because I'm recording while I'm doing this. We then are taken to add focus where you don't want to click anything on this page whatsoever except the red skip button that is going to appear in the top right. Once that does appear, right there it is. Click that red skip button and Silder Shaders is here on CurseForge where finally we can come to the right hand side and click the download button. Nevertheless, once you have your shaders downloaded, Silder Shaders and Makeup Ultra Fast or Continuum or any of the other shaders packs on this list, we can get Iris shaders installed. Do that by minimizing our browser and moving all of these files to our desktop. Do that by clicking the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. We've got our shaders pack here. We're going to deal with those a little later. First, let's install Iris shaders. Do this by right clicking on Iris shaders, clicking on open with, clicking Java and clicking OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java here, what you want to do is go to the description down below and download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for all Minecraft 1.19 mods, including Iris shaders. So come here, go through this tutorial and you'll be able to get Java set up. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But nevertheless, you should now be able to right click on Iris shaders, click on open with, click Java and click OK. That's going to open up the Iris installer here where we want to make sure Iris and Sodium is selected and that 1.19 is selected as our game version click install and then it's going to go through and install iris shaders as you can see it says installation succeeded here and we can close out of iris shaders now let's install our shaders packs to do this we want to open up the minecraft launcher right like so and then once we're in the minecraft launcher we should have an iris shaders installation as you can see there it is iris and sodium it's already selected for us, but if you want to select it, you can click this little arrow and select it like so. Now, if you don't have that there, what you want to do is click on installations. Once you click on installations, you want to make sure modded is selected. As you can see, we unselect modded, select modded, there it is. However, if you still don't have it, click on new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible 119 Grief Protected Survival Server. You can play on it. Then you want to select drop down here. Then you want to select Release Iris Fabric, right like so, Release Iris Fabric. Make sure that is selected. That's the most important part. I'm also going to change our resolution so we can see once we get in game. But nevertheless, once you've got your version Iris Fabric selected here, click Create in the bottom right. Now, finally, to install your shaders pack, find the Iris version, whether it's this one that's there by default or the one you created, hover over it and click on the folder that appears on the Installations tab. Then. Once we're here in the .minecraft folder, we want to find the shaders packs folder. Now for me, right there it is, shaders packs. I already have a ton of shaders packs in here. 
Um, <clears throat> let's just delete these because uh, it's kind of overwhelming, so we'll delete those. And we'll drag and drop Makeup, Ultra Fast Shaders, and Cylinders Vibrant Shaders into our Shaders Packs folder. Now we can navigate back to the Minecraft Launcher and make sure we're playing Minecraft with Iris and Sodium, whether it's the one that's already there or the one that we added. Let's go ahead and click Play, Play again, and now Minecraft will open up with Iris Shaders installed. And once we're in game, it's super easy to select our Shaders Packs and really check this out. Like I said, this can sometimes have better performance than Optifine Shaders, and it's it's usually available a lot quicker as well. So here we are, Minecraft is loading up, and from the main menu, you wouldn't know, other than it's saying Fabric Modded in the bottom left, that you have shaders at all. But if we go into Options, and then we go into Video Settings, we will be able to see up here at the top, Shaders Packs, right? Right there it is. Now if you're wondering, why does my video settings look so different? This is Sodium, and like I said, this has better performance than Optivine a lot of the time, and you can come in through here and change these as you wish to make things look better or worse, depending on what you want to do. I actually recently did a video on this, and it should be coming out soon if it's not already, so be sure to subscribe for that. Nevertheless, if we go to Shaders Packs, we can see here are the shaders we have. Let's go ahead and select Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders and click Apply. When we click on that, it turns yellow, indicating that it's selected. We can do Shaders Options here as well, which is awesome. We can click Done, Apply on the video settings as well, click Done, click Done again, and then finally, we can go check out these shaders in 1.19. This is the first time I've ever ran shaders in 1.19. Let's see how beautiful it is. And 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, it is a black screen, which can happen whenever you install a shaders pack that's actually not Iris compatible. It's odd. I thought Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders was, but it doesn't seem like it is. No worries. We can go into Video Settings and Shaders Packs and switch over to Vibrant Shaders, right like so. So there's Vibrant Shaders. Click Apply there and click Done, and that one does work. As you can see, we now have Silder's Vibrant Shaders installed. One thing that is worth noting is our FPS is actually uh, decent, 124. Now, it does say that we are maxing our GPU, which... I don't have the best GPU. It's pretty old. So that doesn't surprise me, but still 120 FPS is pretty playable if you ask me. I do expect that Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders will be able to work very, very soon. Uh, it was working with the last version of Iris, and I just kind of assumed that would be the case moving forward. However, I do have one question. If we go ahead and reinstall all of my shaders packs here, and then we go back into options video settings, shaders packs. These are all the shaders packs that are listed on our website, right? It's pretty simple to get these. If we try other shaders packs, let's try BSL here for example, it will refresh those and those will also work. I wanted to try a few different packs there because, uh, well, I kind of felt bad for leading you guys on makeup ultra fast. I should have tested that, but knowing that pretty much the rest of the packs for the most part seem to be working on our website does make me believe that, um, it is just simply a issue with makeup ultra fast shaders and the rest of them should work perfectly fine. As you can see, here's another shaders pack working beautifully. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. We'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.